shit's about to get hot because we're going to the Fire Realm, home of the Gorons. I love me some Gorons. As I've mentioned before, they're my favorite Zelda race. So yeah, I'm, I'm pretty excited to see them. I, I, I Honestly, I don't even particularly know why I love them so much. I just kind of do. I don't know. I mean, like, the Hylians are pretty, like, Hylians are pretty much just people with pointy ears. Like, not even elves, for the most part. They're just people with dagger ears, basically. You know, like, so, like, they're, they're kind of, they're too, like, vanilla. Um, the Kokiri, they, they only appear for one game, so it's kind of hard to, you know, grow too attached. And I'm not too fond of the Korok, especially after Breath of the Wild. Ugh. Yeah, you found me. Fuck off. Um, yeah, the Zora, the Zoras are all right. Uh, yeah, the, the, I guess they're kind of like, oh, yeah, they're all right. The Gerudos, yeah, they're okay too, I guess. They're, they're not really all too interesting, really. It's, it's just a kind of a, it's kind of a, just a generic, they're kind of a generic Amazonian tribe, really, except they live in the desert. That's really all that makes them unique. They're really not all that interesting. But yeah. And of course, there's volcan uh, volcanic eruptions among, uh, among us. Uh, I don't like it. It's bad. Oh well. And, uh, yeah, and those dark trains aren't a problem for now, but they will be. They'll be a pain in the ass later on. But I, I do actually cut that out. It's basically just me dodging around dark trains. Nothing too interesting. Yeah. Um. I, I don't make quite as much progress as I had hoped. Because I don't actually even get to the Fire Temple. Because there's... I forgot how much... There's just a large abundance of optional stuff to do. So I... I, um... Yeah, so I, I, don't, I just don't get to the Fire Temple. And uh, next episode will be also me doing a bunch of optional stuff. I don't know if I'll make it to the Fire Temple then either. It just kind of depends. So yeah, it may take a uh, longer time to get to the Fire Temple than I had uh, initially thought. So... So sorry, but... Not much I can do about it. Yeah, so I think what I, I will do, all the stamp stations, all the rabbits, all the force gems. There are, there are actually a couple optional mini dungeons, but I think I'm not gonna, I don't think I'm gonna do those. Like, because they don't give, they, they give you like a, tre like a big old, like, special treasure, for instance, one of them gives you. Uh, I think it's like the alchemy stone, I think it's called. It's basically just a super expensive treasure, or a, a treasure you can sell for a ton of rupees, basically. That's all it is. It, it yeah. So I, I don't know if I'm really gonna bother with that. Cause as I had mentioned before, this is not a hundred percent playthrough. I just pick a couple specific things. We're like, okay, I'll do all of that. Cause like with rabbits, it's pretty easy, especially with the save states. You know, the stamp stations usually only take like they're usually only like a minute or two detour each. You know, the force gems unlock more rabbits. So. And also, it's just it just feels nice to like unlock more tracks. I don't know, it just it's just it's just a nice feeling. It's just satisfying to watch. I don't really know why. Yeah, yeah. The the Gorons are very tribal tattooy in the the these in this game in Phantom Hourglass. I don't think they're ever are, are they like that in uh, Breath of the Wild? I don't think they are. I think they were actually a little bit like that in Twilight Princess, actually. Kagoron, of course. So who is this mountain goddess? Din? Probably not. Yeah, d d I, I don't know. Do they still worship the golden goddesses in this game? I don't think they ever get specified. I don't, I don't think they're ever mentioned by name. Think about it. Does the Triforce ever show up? What? No, no, no. There, there's that one treasure that shows uh, that, like, like a gold coin that has a Triforce emblem on it. But aside from that, I'm trying to rack my... Did it appear in Hyrule Castle? I mean, probably, but... I don't know. Because they didn't really worship them in Wind Waker, because... Well, I don't think they did. I mean, there were, there were like, the like goddess, like, the statues of the goddesses that we had to get to the tower, you know, and, like, the pearls named after the goddesses, but I don't know if they ever... if they were actually, like, worshipped. I don't know. Point is, there's a mountain goddess. I don't know who it is. And uh, I, I fumble a few times in this episode. I decided to keep it in for the most part. I mean, even with all the editing I did, this episode's still only about, you know, roughly half hour. 
better than my last video, that's for sure. But yeah, next video is gonna be like really edit heavy because it's mostly gonna be me like talking to somebody, like getting something onto my um. Tr yeah, these guys are really fucking annoying. Um, getting something onto my train, and then uh, like just skipping to me arriving at my destination. Yeah, the annoying thing about these guys is that um, they're, they're always spitting fire at you, so it, it doesn't feel like I have enough time to get like my whip or boomerang ready or my bombs like. Uh, like, it feels like they fire, uh, fire at a too fast of a rate for me to do anything about. At least that's how it feels. Uh, yeah, okay, okay, I guess they didn't do it there, but I still got eaten, and I have a really hard time doing the rub thing. I don't know. It, 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 it always, no matter how much I do, it never seems to really work. Uh, that, that one I, I'm gonna blame on the emulator, you know, that, that I think is just something like the emulator just doesn't work quite right with that. I, that's why I like to think, or that's how it feels. I don't know. Like, I don't know, maybe it is just 100% my fault, but part of it does feel like the emulator just doesn't pick up, just doesn't register, you know, uh, I, I remember them spitting more fire than this. That's weird. Yeah, like, I don't know. I, I, I do feel like a, a part of it is that the emulator just doesn't register the rubbing as much as it should. I don't know. That's, that's just how I... F it, it's something you kind of have to experience to really, like, understand, I feel like. But, whatever. Yeah, I keep forgetting. We haven't even gotten the goddamn bow and arrows yet. Like, I'm, I'm so used to, like, I'm, I'm usually used to them appearing in, like, the first temple, or the first major temple, I don't know. Yeah, I was seeing if maybe I could reach that swish from all the way over here, no dice. Oh, well. Yeah, like, you know, like, it, like the forest temple in Ocarina of Time, and the Woodfall temple in the Majora's Mask, and, uh... Well, actually, you didn't get, you didn't get it in the, uh... Wait, when did you get the bow and arrows in Twilight Princess? I should know this! Yeah, when did you get them? Cause I think you, don't you get the Gale boomerang in the forest temple? When did you get the bow and arrow? Uh, in the fire? No, that's the iron boots. Yeah, when do you get the bow and arrow? Huh, I'm drawing a blank. That's worrying. Huh? Yeah, I don't know. I I feel like I should know this, but I don't. Hmm. Well, whatever. It's not too important. I don't know, sometimes it, it just kind of feels like the bone arrow should be like an early weapon. I don't know. But I guess the thing about it, that's not the case too often, is it? Yeah, non-skyward sword. Well, Breath of the Wild is kind of a special case. Hello. Uh, what was his name? Kagoron? What was his name? I like his hair. It's, it's, it's very long and flowy. Well, it's, it, f fuck you, it doesn't look all that safe. It's, it's four torches in a fence. It doesn't even look that, like, it doesn't look that special. Like, isn't this supposed to be, like, a place you're supposed to communicate with a goddess to? Shouldn't it be a bit more fancy? I don't know. Yeah, the fire sanctuary is a little bit different in this area, because it's actually, like, straight attached to the Goron village. That's how it works. Because, you know, it's always a separate location, but not here. Yeah, I do love this bit, yeah. A special aura. What the fuck are you talking about? You're just making shit up. You 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 could just like see the train tracks from here. That's that's what really happened. You're a fucking liar. That and how else would I have gotten to this place? Would I have walked here in the blistering heat and you know, volcanic eruptions? It's either a train or nothing, really. Who the fuck is gonna go all the way out here on foot? He's just making shit up about that aura. He's a fucking liar. Don't believe a word he's saying. <laughs> he's a sham. Ugh. I do get a couple of treasures. The dragon scale. Yeah, I really need to go pawn them off. I haven't sold any uh, since I first met Lineback the Third. I haven't uh, sold off any. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, m most metals have a weakness to lava. That, that that tends to be a thing. Chuck most metals in lava and they'll melt. Yeah, that's I, I you know I, I'm pretty sure that's a thing for a great deal of metals. A uh, Kagoron. Okay. I like his. 
I'm trying to, his, his beard is so hairy, which I know is an odd thing to say, but I kind of remember like, um, Darunia having like a beard too, but it was made out of like rock. But his is just hairs, unusual to see. Like, like, yeah, Gorons have had kind of like hair, well, yeah, actually, well, yeah, some of the Gorons of Majora's Mask had straight up hair. But I remember like Darunia's, at least it looked like it was just straight up rock. I don't know, that's how I, uh, that's how I imagined it when I was a kid. I always imagined his like his hair and like beard combo was made out of rock. It just looked like that to me. I think that's cool. I I, I think that's an, a cool idea. Facial hair made out purely out of rock. It's badass. You may have the longer beard, but mine's made out of rock. Suck it. But yeah, so we gotta get some uh, some stuff to cool down the lava, which will be the mega ice. From the uh, anu Anukis? I'm, I'm still not really sure how to how to uh, pronounce that. Oh well. Let's get some ice. Cool some cool cool down some lava. I'm just gonna say anu Anuki. That's just how I'm gonna pronounce it. I'm not sure how it's supposed to be said. Yeah. Cold clear spring, eh? Yeah, and um. Yeah, so far, like, none of the, um, passengers I've had, except for... Wait, I don't know, remember if I mentioned this, but, uh, what was his name? Wait, who's the one from the Ocean Realm? Was that Steam or Carbon? Well, either one. Either way, the guy... I think that might have been Carbon from the Ocean Realm. Yeah, aside from his instance with the pirates, there's been no, like, um, like, uh, automatic, like, encounters with, like, specific special enemies while, um... Getting these guys from, you know, like getting passengers from point A to point B. Like generic enemies will attack, but nothing like the pirate thing. That has, that, I don't think that happens at any other point. I don't, I don't think. Not that I can remember. Yeah, I, I do remember some of these like errands I had to do, like the mega ice thing. That I remember. And I remember there's this ore that like melts in the sunlight or something like that. I remember that. I think. Because I think I had to go through like a cave with a rock tight to, you know, to clear that through and I... I'm not good at that. Yay! I got a force gem. Another one. It's fantastic. All right, this will make some more rails appear. Yep, a nice path to the forest realm. That's nice. And there's also a warp gate there, which I activate off screen. I mean, I don't actually use it or anything. I just activate it. Yeah, so that was just me coming back from activating the warp gate. Because, you know, it's just me shooting a bomb at the gate, just like before. It's nothing to really see. It's just on the new, um, on the new, uh, tracks I unlocked. Yeah, I do love this. If you just keep haggling, he'll just give it to you for free. Just one time. He, he, he won't do it another time. <sighs> no. Less. <laughs> Yeah, thank you. No, make it even cheaper. Don't ask me how. Just make it cheaper somehow. You pay me to put the ice on it. That's how cheap it is. Yeah. Thankfully, it doesn't melt quite as uh, quickly as you would think. But, yeah. And um, the way this happens is a dark train appears right in front of the first... Yeah, that, that first area that I passed by... It's just like a shooting range type place, but um, it, you can't even use it like right away because of the volcano. Um, a dart train, um, a dart train appears there, and like it, like ready to attack. Um, yeah, see there, you can see it on the mini map. So it was, it was, this was basically just me navigating through some around some dart trains. Nothing really interesting. All right. Yeah, and Zelda's about to slip, yeah. Why are we doing such peasant-like errands? Disgusting. Yeah, I don't know if it still melts while you're in the village. I don't know. I don't think so. I wouldn't think so, but who knows. But yeah. Yeah, there is like one to go on you have to help specifically later on where you have to have a certain amount of Mega Ice. I, I um, helped him out in this video. You have to have 10 Mega Ice or it doesn't count. Yeah, or it just doesn't work. Yeah. 
Dr. the Elder. This is all seem very familiar. I have the Dr. the Elder. Well, at least I don't have to, uh, I don't have to, don't have to do a quiz this time. Yeah, and the guy calling out for me is just the guy who wants Mega Ice to go on. So. Oh, he's very gray. Is he, uh, is he all right? He looks a little sickly. Uh, no, what are you talking about? He's not imposing. What the fuck are you talking about? He looks kindly, like he's about to offer me a cookie or something. Of course, the cookie would probably be made out of rocks, so I'd have to decline. Yeah, this goes a lot more, this goes a lot better than the Goron deal with the Fam Hourglass. I had to answer a quiz show, I had to deal with the Elder's obnoxious, I think it was his son in Phantom Hourglass. He was a little shit, at least at first. Oh, well, thank you. Yeah, so it's that way to the Fire Sanctuary. So yeah, that, that's what makes the fire sanctuary a little bit special this time around. Or the, the sanctuary in general, I mean. And keys, can't kill them with the sword directly. You gotta whip them or boomerang them. I love whipping. I love to use that as a weapon. Makes me feel like Indiana Jones. Or I guess. Yeah, I, guess I, I kind of forget how often whips appear in the series, huh? Like, I wouldn't think of it as, like, a staple, like the boomerangs or the bow and arrows. And, yeah, I guess they probably don't appear quite as often. But they, they appear enough to be noteworthy, I think. Whips. I don't know. <laughs> is, it clear, is it obvious I don't have too much to talk about right now? Yeah. Oh, but you know, one thing I gotta say here is the song for this sanctuary was a pain in the fucking ass. It took me, like, ten tries to get through. And as I always do, I, I, I cut out all the um, failed attempts. So you don't have to worry about that. Oh yeah, yeah, and see my shield doesn't get eaten. That's the special ability of the shield, to be like-like proof, I guess. You know, think of, I don't, there weren't actually any like-likes in Wind Waker at all, were there? Now that I think about it, were there? I don't think there were any. I don't, yeah, I don't think like-likes appeared in that game. Hmm. Yep, here we are at the fire sanctuary though. Yeah, it's a pain in the ass. Those obnoxious fire spewing plants are everywhere. I hate them so much. Ugh. I don't even know what they're called. I just don't like them. I don't like them, not one bit. Yeah, if you ha yeah, unfortunately I'm all out of bombs, so I can't just spam bombs at them. I probably should have tried to see if there were any at the village, but too late. You know, hindsight is 2020. You know. Yeah, here, uh, yeah, here's where their like fire spinning starts to become a problem for me. Ugh, it's annoying. Yeah, but anyway, of course I um cut out the failed attempts at doing the song as I usually do. I, I keep in the practice, but after that I just cut out all the failed attempts because again there were like ten. I tried like ten times, I just could not get it. it. It really felt like it was really strict this time. It felt like especially strict. I don't know. Yeah, it's such fucking bullshit they can still attack me after I chop off their heads. Fuck that shit. Boo! Whoever designed these enemies should be fired. They should be fired over the slight against me. Yeah, I, I was seeing if I had any bombs, which I don't. I was seeing if, yeah, if I could boomerang them. Unfortunately, that's not the. Uh, yeah. Yeah, I remember the Zelda dungeon said I could use boomerangs against them, but I guess not. Or like, even when they're out, like, it doesn't target them, so I'm not sure if it would affect them or not. I don't know. The, yeah, they spit fire too quickly for me to really try. So I, I, I guess I'll never know. I'll never know the answer unless I Google it, which I probably won't, because I don't care enough. Yeah, you just gotta light a bunch of torches, make some fences appear, or not fences, bridges appear. Uh, I, oh god, it lunged at me. Oh, it was spooky. It's scary. I can I can see all of its teeth. Oh, it was horrible. But yeah, uh, so yeah, I'm still not sure how many more videos this playthrough will be. I'm still saying okay, maybe like after this another eight or nine. I don't know. It's kind of hard to tell. I guess there, a lot of it really depends on the optional stuff. Like if I cut out the optional stuff, I could probably get be done with this in like four or five videos, maybe. Yeah, you know, one to get to get to the fire temple. Well, actually, honestly, the um, getting to the fire temple will be quick enough where I could probably do that and the temple itself in one video. Probably it'll be a little bit longer than usual, but still, 
Uh, and then, like, getting to... Or doing the Tower of Spirits. Again. Getting to the next... The Sand Temple. Doing the Sand Temple. And then just the Dark... Or, I guess, I think I have to do the Tower again after that. And then the Dark Realm. Which probably could all be done in one video. So that's about six videos. If I cut out all the optional stuff. So they're probably, they're probably gonna be like two or three videos uh, added on to the extra stuff I'll be doing. So. Yeah, it you know, probably isn't, I, I don't know, maybe it's probably bad that I only do some optional stuff but not others, but I don't know. I, I, I don't know. I, I, I mean, th th these are casual playthroughs. I make it very clear right at the start that these aren't 100%, you know? So I, I feel slightly justified in that. Yeah, I, I say I never, I never, you know, say I'm gonna complete this game 100% and then not do it. I, I always say, like, yeah, this this one's not gonna be 100%. I think, yeah, I think the only game I, I've 100%ed so far is Ocarina of Time. I think. Uh, no, that's got none of the Ze other Zelda games aside from Ocarina of Time. Um, yeah, I, I kept playing like, the wrong song because I'm an idiot. I don't. I was looking at the guy because I'm dumb. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Very good flute playing, huh? Um, yeah, none of the, the Zelda games uh, I've 100%ed. Uh, not like Paper Mario. Yeah, I have to like, get all the badges and stuff. No, fuck no. Uh, all the star shards and stuff. Fuck that shit. Um, none of the Yakuza games. Though I did complete all the sub stories, which I feel like is good enough. You know, it's good enough for me, at least. Uh, yeah. And this motherfucker here. And, uh, what's his name? Yeah, Ambrose. Like, Embers, you know. Get it? It's fire. Get it? <laughs> you, you get it? Okay. I, I like his hair and his mustache and beard combo. It's very nice. <laughs> yeah, no, nah, that's not me. That's the other guy. He's gonna be here in about five minutes. Uh, yeah, uh, the One Piece Pirate Warriors game, I'm not 100%ing. Uh, yeah. I don't know, 100 percenting just isn't my thing for the most part. Ocarina of Time is like a very special case, because that's, that's just a very, it, it, it especially special game to my heart. So that's really the only reason why I made an exception there. I mean, I'd, I'd probably 100 percent a game if there wasn't a lot to do. Like, like, I'll, like when I get around to Zelda 1, I'll 100 percent that, because it's like 90% of it is just getting all the hard containers, which really isn't that bad. I mean, there's a couple, like two or three other things that you don't have to get, but you can. Like the like the sword upgrades. I, I don't think you have to get them, do you? I don't think you so. It just makes the game easier because they're stronger. But, you know. Um, like all 100% that game just because there's really not too much. You know, it's an NES game, so of course there's not going to be like, you know, like 50 side quests and shit, you know. Yeah, I know it might not seem like I'm doing a good enough job, but apparently the game thinks that, uh... Apparently it thinks that this is good enough flute, flute playing, because I managed to succeed. Yeah, it's weird. Sometimes it feels like it's, like, super fucking picky. And then, like, the time I succeed, it still feels like I didn't do good enough, and yet, here we go. I don't know. It's weird. Sorry, I was just kind of letting it play. I, I love the sound of his drums. I don't know why. <laughs> He's very good with those. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I, I do like the little song. I playing the songs suck, but once they like come together and like you know, Cuplink and the Locomo like do their duet, it always sounds really good. So, <laughs> yeah, the best and hardest performance. Ugh. Uh, no, I don't want to. I don't like socializing. It, it makes me nervous. Please stop talking to me, Elder. You're, you're riling up my anxiety. Yeah, yeah, so, yeah, this doesn't take too long from what I remember. I, I do remember that, I actually did remember this, but, um, yeah, it doesn't take too long to do. So I, you know, I, I could easily do that and the fire temple one video and it really wouldn't be too long 
Yeah, it, it might be like a little bit of a longer side, but I could I could easily squeeze that into one video. <laughs> Gone Goron. <laughs> uh, I love Gorons. Yeah, I'm not too fond of Ritos. Maybe I think it's because I think uh, one thing is I just don't like birds. I, I don't like dealing with birds. Like seeing like a picture of a bird or something, or oh oh I I didn't even see that treasure there. Oh. I did I, I just noticed it like just now that a treasure dropped onto the floor. Damn it. Yeah, it was a low tier treasure anyway, I think, so eh, whatever. But um yeah, like I, I I don't like birds. Like if I like physically dealing with birds, it just freaks me out. I just don't like them. I don't like their talons, I don't like the sound of their flapping wings, it just freaks me out. Yeah, I, I decided to um just go ahead and help out the uh I had a change of heart, decided to help out that Goron now. And I also get a couple of rabbits too on the way. Some uh, fire rabbits or mountain rabbits, whatever they're called. Well, we'll see in a minute. They're red rabbits, that's really all the difference is. And they show up in the fire realm. <laughs> yeah, at least the ocean ones walk on water. That makes them very unique. I do love that. They just inexplicably just hop on water because they they're Hobon masters. So they're able to hop on the hop on the water. Oh jeez. But yeah, yeah, I, I do kind of like the idea that you're able to like lug uh, cargo around. I mean, ninety like ninety percent of the time is optional, so you know that makes it easier to deal with. But you, you don't have to do it if you don't want to most of the time. I think the Mega Ice was one of the few times. Well, the first Mega Ice thing. I think that was one of the only times where you have to do it as part of the story, I think. Maybe like one or two other times, but most of the time it's all optional. But I, I guess I just kind of like the idea. And yeah, they are called mountain rabbits. I thought so. Yeah, fire rabbit didn't sound quite right. Yeah, but they're, they're just red rabbits. Yeah, it's got, they don't really, they never show up at the sanctuary. Maybe they're like further into the sanctuary or something, but it's weird that you don't, you don't see them in like the main area. I don't know why that bothers me. It just does. Oh. And there they go. That's uh, number three. Last rabbit for this video. Yeah, unfortunately you can't, uh, you can't get it for free this time. Yeah, 50 rupees is the lowest he'll go, sadly. <laughs> I love this haggling. <laughs> uh, no. Yeah, yeah, but yeah, he he won't he won't budge on fifty. I don't know. Maybe if I had talked to him again and said no, he might budge, but probably not. I I'd be very surprised. But yeah. But uh, it's, hey, there's no dark trains I gotta deal with though uh, this time around, so I, I so I still don't show because there's even less to show this time. So, man, fuck those dark trains though; they're so annoying. Yep, yeah. yeah. So I can help the, uh, this guy with his uh, his house. There we go. Hooray! <laughs> I am full of grateful feelings. I am a human. Go on, whatever. I am not a robot. I feel grateful. I have grateful feelings. I feel joy. There we go. And yeah, that that just leads to one, uh, at least to a desert rabbit. Yeah, N not a mountain rabbit, a desert rabbit. Which I I'll get next video, and I don't feel, I didn't feel like doing it now. But uh, so that's it for this video. The I love the Gorons. They're still you know pretty much my favorite Zelda race. Uh, the, 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 I, I kind of like the idea of, like, you know, lugging things around. I, I guess it, just the idea of it. I, I don't know why I like it. I just kind of do. I, I, I know. It's kind of weird. The fire sanctuary was kind of annoying with those fire spewing plants. The song was really hard to do. Again, it took me, like, ten tries to get it. It was really obnoxious. Um... To, to like, I actually googled it. Like, am I doing something wrong? Is like, am I really just this stupid? Like, no, no I just just practice until I eventually got it right. I don't know. But uh, yeah, not too much. To, uh, not much else to say there. You know, fire realm, very fiery. But uh, 
yeah, so next time will be a lot of optional stuff. I don't, I, I'll try to do the optional stuff and get to the fire temple, but I'm definitely not doing the fire temple next time. Definitely not. Not enough time. So I'll, I'll try to do like all the force gems and rabbit stuff that's opening up now, because you know there's like like seven or eight more force gems I can get at this point, and a whole bunch of rabbits too. But I'll try to get all that done in the video next video and reach the fire temple, but no promises. But I'll certainly try. Cause I don't, you know, I don't want to have like an hour long video, you know, but either way, that's it for this video. See you next time. Bye-bye.